Hello everybody, welcome back to the Matt Vidpro AI YouTube channel. AI image generation is one of my favorite things to cover because there's always something cool to explore. As its own separate market, it's really developed well over time, and there's so many unique little facets to try out. I'm really happy to show you guys what I'm about to show you today, because I think it is the future of AI image generation as a whole. Yes, today we're going to be talking about real-time AI image generation. I'm going to get you guys up to speed on it and show you where you can use it for entirely free. The way I'm going to present this to you guys is first starting out at the source where it all began and then branching up to where we are today. Prepare to have your mind blown because my mind was certainly blown. It all started with this research into latent consistency models. You can actually get decent results out of distilled stable diffusion with only two steps or four steps of generation. Typically with stable diffusion XL, for example, a good image you need like 40 steps of generation. So this is at least 10 10 times faster to get a decent image. You know, it's not going to have the same versatility as the full stable diffusion, but it's lightning fast and that has some really unique applications. The first application that we really saw blow up in the image generation space was Kriya. Kriya is an image generation website. They've got a few different AI based apps, but these right here are their two big ticket items. Real time generation, again, that uses the latent consistency models and then this new upscaling. Today's video is not all about Kriya. Kriya is just our first stop in our real-time generation journey. If we enter the real-time generation in Kriya, we've got an output image on the right-hand side and a drawing tab on our left. We've got a prompter at the bottom where we can type out a typical AI image generation prompt. And this is our first mind blow of the day. Let's say, let's pick this color orange. Let's say photo of a tabby cat. Now we have a cute little cat at the bottom just based off of our white image, but I actually want him to be in the top left hand corner poking his head through. So I'm going to draw him like this and when I release my brush, it's going to update and put the tabby cat up in the corner. And I can kind of smooth things out and there he is poking his little head. Now let's go ahead and add a little bit extra onto our image. We'll say he's hanging out with his turtle friend. And as you can see, the model gets a little bit confused because we just really changed up the prompt. But if I go over and select a nice dark green blob and put it down here, we should be able to make this cat hanging out with his little turtle buddy. It is kind of making turtle cats up here in the corner. And hopefully with a little adjustment here, especially adding in the details like the cat's face, we can really start to fine tune our image in with just some really basic drawing capabilities. You don't have to be an artist to make this work well. And just having the model generate in almost real time is a huge advantage. You have this connection to the latent space that's inside of the model that was just never possible before this technology existed. It's a more worry-free way to get creative with these AI art models, and you can really just let your imagination run wild. One thing I'm going to show you guys later is the ability to run these models on your own machine. This is not a tutorial video, I'm going to do that separately, but I will absolutely be linking and showing you guys the resources. So let's say they're on the beach. Then we can go ahead and start to create our beach. Add some sand at the bottom there. Some of these waves. I think this cat needs to have his... Uh, pause filled in here if he's gonna make any sense might redo my turtle here he's looking a little uh wonky either way i think you guys kind of get the point here you have a new level of controllability over your images with real-time generation what's cool about korea here is they do have built-in upscaling you can see their upscaler adds quite a bit of detail to the image as a whole pretty incredible stuff now the only problem with korea guys is that it does have a monetary price to it you can't use it for entire Entirely free and you know I really like free AI so I'll be showing you guys plenty of free options today but yeah if you want to access Kriya real time that's gonna be 30 bucks a month with their pro plan not exactly our favorite option right even though I gotta say this upscaling is pretty sweet and they do have a nice user interface all right so now we're gonna go over some of the free alternatives to Kriya we're starting out here at fall AI real-time stable diffusion 
This was working for me a few days ago, but right now, for some reason, every time I try to draw something, it just sits here and gives me an error. Not sure exactly uh, as to why that is. Maybe it's just a temporary thing, but I will link it down below just in case you guys can get it working. The setup here is very much similar to Kriya AI. We've got a prompt down here. You can type anything you want in there. We've got a nice little drawing editor. Change the size of our drawing tip as well as pick from any one of the colors. We actually get a few advanced options with this one as well, including an image strength slider. So I did go to the Fall AI website, and if you sign in with a GitHub account, you actually can get access to their own latent consistency playground for completely free. Now this doesn't have the same drawing setup, but you can essentially upload any image URL you want and are able to do this really fast image generation for entirely free. Now the reason this doesn't have the same drawing interface is this is just a playground to show off their API for this latent consistency generation. So if you're a developer, this might actually be huge for you. All right, this next one is so good that I kind of have to preface it. This is entirely free generation. It's also the fastest and best generation we've seen to date. This is hosted by TL draw. I don't know how long they're going to keep this up for entirely free, especially because I'm making a video about it. So this one might get taken down, but it's very mind blowing and I'm going to link it down below for you guys. Let's take a look. So guys, this is TL draw. It's a lot different than the other interfaces, but I kind of like it the best. So first up, we've got this box over here. You can see if we immediately start drawing, we're going to see things appear very, very quickly in the other side of the screen. We can even overlay them. So you can kind of just draw in real time and see how things morph and change. And honestly, this is one of the coolest ways to use this new technology. It's also lightning fast, like a lot more fast than the other latent consistency models we've seen so far. And I believe I'm not certain that this might be using the new SDXL turbo model, which we're going to get into in a little bit. But yeah, it's very incredible. If we want to actually add a prompt to this thing, we can click this little mouse pointer button at the bottom here and then double click the top left hand corner to access the prompt window. Let's go ahead and do photo of a tabby cat swimming in a pool like so. And in the top right here, we can just pick from any colors that we want. We can go ahead and start to fill in our image. You see the generation is just so much faster with this one. It's kind of unbelievable. It's it's like uh, twice as fast at least. It's really, really mind-blowing. Probably the most mind-blowing thing you're going to see in today's video, except maybe the uh, running things on your own machine. But yeah, I mean, it's just absolutely nuts. If we overlay it too, like I said, this is just a really cool way of using these models. You know, maybe we can start to add some grass on the sides. Don't forget, anything that you add into the image, you're going to want to prompt as well. There we go. There's our grass. You can see it starts to form in the background as I draw in real time. I mean, it's just absolutely absolutely marvelous. Like, tell me how insane that is. Like, it is just such a mind-blowing experience. You guys have never tried AI art like this. I mean, seriously, it is a magical experience. Oh, by the way, you can see this one's also hosted by FAL. It's a fast API. And I really want to demonstrate to you guys some of the crazy capabilities you can do with this thing, the insane amounts of fine controllability you get. Let's try that cat again, but this time he's going to be surfing a wave, which is a lot more complicated for the AI. Let's just start out with our prompt photo of a tabby cat. Actually, we'll do a drawing, like a painting of a tabby cat surfing on a wave at the beach. So we got our basic prompt. Let's start to build our wave here. Things happen in real time. And I'm going to swap it over to that other mode because I just find it so fascinating. Just slowly carve this out. I mean, look at what's happening, guys. This, this is like you've never seen before. Okay, so we've got our ocean pretty filled up here. I'm going to have the wave kind of crest over this one. Wow, this cat is quite the surfer. <laughs> and yeah, if we drag down here, you can see we've made like this crazy big splashing wave. I'm just going to kind of identify the wave a little bit better. The cool part with TL Draw is that fine tune controllability. I can go ahead and select these different pieces now and actually drag them and it will start to move the object separate from the rest of what you've already drawn. So that's some of the magic with this here is that uh, in this TL Draw format, I can kind of move and shift my lines around and really change up my image. 
I can even select multiple at once. Let's say I just want the waves here and that's really shifting the whole image here and I can really start to change the way things look. It's pretty incredible stuff. So yeah, I'm going to link this one down below for you guys. I don't know how long it's going to last, especially with a video such as this one, but it's up right now on TL Draw. In my opinion, this is my favorite way to do this real time AI image generation so far. So there's also this one called Free Pick. It's invitation only right now, obviously not to flood their server. I do have an invite code. I don't know if it's going to work for me. Okay, that invite code did work. If you're wondering, oh, where did that invite code come from? Well, it comes from Javi Lopez here on Twitter showing off this app. And this is the code right here, Javi Lop. Again, I don't know how long it's going to last, but right now that's the code to get in and have some free real-time generation on free pick Picasso. The cool thing about this app is that you can actually access a bunch of stock icons to use rather than your own garbage painting. You still can paint with your own garbage painting if you so desire. There's also a better color selection than TL Draw, but unfortunately they don't have that overlay mode that I'm such a huge fan of. So yeah, I don't know. For me personally, I think it's a tie between this one and the TL Draw right now. You still do have that access to crazy fine tunability. Like I can actually size things up to like if I wanted to make the ocean way taller, I could absolutely do that move this boat all over the screen. Very, very amazing technology here. Can even change the time of day too with the sun moving different directions and actually affecting the lighting in real time with uh, what's happening with the boat. I think one of the coolest things to see is actually the reflection of the sun. Let's add the reflection in a little bit. You could actually see the reflection change in real time over the waves, which is just so crazy to see, man. And if I actually paint out the reflection myself, that's when things get insane. I can move the reflection around and the sun and just position them wherever I so please. I mean, it's just so darn cool. I don't know. This one might actually take the cake over TL Draw. Let me know what you guys think for the best uh, interface for doing these real-time AI generations. Okay, I want to try my own scene now at this point. Let's clear this thing. Let's do photo of a cyberpunk street. Many shops food, and technology. Even just prompting it and seeing your prompt come to life on the other side is a really insane thing to experience. Like, it's not just the drawing, even though the drawing is the main thing here. They also have a nice slider in this one, too, up in the top right-hand corner. That is their imagination slide. Essentially, just affects how much detail there is coming in from the AI itself rather than your drawing. You can go ahead and grab some basic shapes here. This can be, you know, our horizon, so to speak. It works pretty well in this cyberpunk scenario. I want this to be a little bit smaller, though. I want to be closer to the action, so that works all too well. Wow. Let's get a businessman icon and see how this changes things up a little bit. That shockingly does just add people to the bottom of the scene. Like, what? It's literally just an icon of a person. The AI is like, yep, that works out for me. All right, we'll put that down there. I do want to start to draw in the landscape a little bit more, though. So we'll set in those defined lines saying this is what our perspective is for this image. Things are already starting to look pretty good. If I add a little bit more imagination in there, ooh, I kind of like that better, actually. But if I want some colors up at the top here, I want it to be a, a colorful street view. Grab some purple in there and add some purples up at the top. It doesn't fully listen to everything you say, but it absolutely can help. And just with this, I've created something pretty awesome. Let's try something I can control just a little bit better. Let's do a cat sitting under a tree eating a banana, all based around these little icons they have for you to mess around with. Let's go ahead and drag this upwards so we have a nice big tree growing. Wow, that is amazing. Let's add the tabby cat in. So he's going to be under the palm tree. Actually, you know what? Let's make him bigger over here so we can get a nice detailed view of our cat. And now we'll give our cat the little banana. Oh, this is the moon, not a banana. Well, that's no problem for us. We just change it to banana. All right. It doesn't really seem to be working out too well for us. Let's remove the banana and try something else. Oh yeah, he's wearing a nice little hat. How about that? So we'll give him the little hat. That just works so crazy well. It's it's honestly kind of insane how well the, the hat with the cat just works. Let's say I don't want the cat on this side though. I want him over here. Totally possible. We'll move the palm tree as well. Oh, now it's turned the cat into a person, but she does still have a little cat friend. That's honestly a pretty decent image. I'm happy with that. And finally, you know what? We'll add the skyline of New York City in the background over here. Look at that. Oh God, the possibilities are so endless for this. You guys are going to have so much fun. Any cool results you get, please share to my Discord. I would love to see them.
Okay, so finally, I do want to talk about running this on your own machine at home. It's totally possible and totally doable with that new Stable Diffusion Turbo model I just talked about in yesterday's AI News Recap. It's a really good model, it's super fast, and it runs on a lot of home machines. I'm going to do a full install guide tutorial for Stable Diffusion Turbo very soon. That's not what this video is, but I will link all of the resources to get it working if you're a little bit more experienced down below. Alright guys, this is running real-time AI locally on your own machine for completely free. The only difference with this is that you can't use it for any commercial stuff. And obviously it's a little bit complex to set up here, but I do have it working. And this is, keep in mind, running on an RTX 4080. Not the cheapest GPU in the world, sure, but it's still consumer-grade hardware. You know, this isn't some server. This is just my computer at home. Watch how fast I can generate images. Once the models are loaded up, it starts generating images. Is, I think more than just one image a second. I think this is more like two images per second. Either way, the generation is lightning fast here, and you can see I can actually change things in real time as it's already generating. So while I can't draw with this, I can still change up my prompt. So I can go from cat to dog. It takes a few seconds to reset here, but then it does start to produce dog images instead of cats with very few hiccups. I can even specify a specific dog breed, so I will do that now. Now, and that absolutely does work for me and I can just spit out image after image after image Like I said, I'm going to do a full tutorial on how to install this for anyone who's never done it before It won't be too bad. I'll make it as easy and simple as possible And of course it is entirely free. So if you aren't subscribed get subscribed for that video It's gonna be pretty awesome. Let's see what the difference between evening sunset and bright morning and there you go That's the difference between sunset and morning. So either way guys Guys, I think we can all admit this is absolutely the future of AI image generation with the drawing and the latent consistency that I showed you guys It's just so much fine tunability and controllability and these lightning fast instant real-time models are something to behold Sure, the generation isn't as good as Dolly 3, but it doesn't take 45 seconds to generate It takes less than a second typically to generate an image I'm really excited to see a Dolly 3 quality generator that also generates in real time I think we're pretty far off from that but perhaps in 2024 i don't know guys things are pretty awesome thanks so much for watching i hope this video provided you guys a well-rounded insight into this real-time image generation and gave you a lot of resources to go have fun and test these things out hopefully for completely free thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next one and goodbye